compared to a lot of, as a lot of people in like the natural wine world call it, like conventional uh, wineries and farms, um, when we press our juice or our, uh, whether it be apples or grapes, we kind of treat it the same. We, you know, we're not like killing the yeast in there. Uh, we're not like adjusting any of like the pH um, or acid by using any chemicals. The big thing that we do is, you know, instead of like filtering it too, what we'll do is we will cold settle everything. So that's what we did today. We cold settled a couple tanks, and then we racked it. Um, if you were in like a traditional, more conventional place, they would probably pad filter it. And then if they wanted to do a sparkling wine, we, what we're doing is capturing the sugar that's still in the juice and letting it ferment in the bottle. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to do it, you would probably kill the yeast in the juice and then, you know, pitch yeast that you want and add a little bit of sugar to and, uh, and just have that work kind of in the, the classic champagne method. Um, you know, and for our still wines, you know, there is sometimes a little bit more like sediment in the bottom. We do a pretty good job of like racking it all off, which is kind of taking everything off from the sediment in the bottom. But basically we, we do that so that, you know, we don't have to use like the pad filter or anything in that respect. And so less intervention, less, um, with the juice and just kind of using what we have. And so when Matt was saying that like everything's based on vintage to vintage, that's like alcohol content is based off like how well the sugar, how well the apples were able to ripen, um, how good the weather was that year, you know, do we have all the people to pick it at the right time, you know, like all these things are, have something to do with like vintage to vintage rather than making like a the same exact product every year, which you see like a lot of conventional wineries do. It's yeah. the oldest way yeah. of doing it, because long before there was chemistry labs and, you know, science, and modern science, you know, it, most wine was made, at least in Europe, by, by like monks, right? You know, mm -hmm. they were all, yeah. uh, Dom Perignon was a, was an, was a mm -hmm. monk who discovered that if you had a little bit of sugar left in the wine and you put a cork on it under, it would, pressure would, you know, make a sparkling wine.